What's going on, guys? I like your blooms here. April 9th, here in Michigan. We got the planter boxes. We just put them together. And we got our from seed started plants. Except for that strawberry, that's from a mother plant. That's a little, took that off the mother plant. We didn't buy it, but all these are started from seeds. Uh, that I bought for like 25 cents, that little primrose. And uh, it was dead pretty much and been nursing it back. And then uh, all these peppers, they're a little dinky. Those guys, uh, those are seed started. Um, over here, we, everything seed started. But yeah, what we're gonna talk about today is these planter boxes. And they are four by two, uh, by six feet, by six inches high, four by two. Um, yeah, super easy. Uh, as you can tell, one's a little bit darker. This one is a little bit darker. We stained that one. So it's, a, it's got a little bit more character than the other one. Uh, but yeah, so you go to Home Depot. You'll get you a... I should have probably... I'll make a video maybe one day on uh, actually putting one of these together. But uh, Home Depot has... It was a, a 1 by 6 by 12. And it's a board... Each of those are one of these boards, and you take it to the cutter, and you have them cut you two four-foot pieces and two two-foot pieces. Now, if you got your own saw and whatever, you could do it all at your own house. We don't have a truck, so carrying wood, lumber, anything like that, we're doing it by car, so definitely have to get it cut there. But yeah, then you just uh, you know. You either, it, it won't be a perfect four by two. You could either do it like this with the, the, the two foot board on the outside, or you could do it like this with the two foot board on the inside. Um, choice is yours to get an exact four by two. I forget which one is, which one's which. But uh, yeah, then you just pop some screws in. I just did three. One, two, three on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. It'll kind of look like a bookshelf. You stand it up. Just pop them in. Same thing. This one. One, two, three. Probably should have done another one because we got a little gap. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you could you could do two by four. You could do uh, two by six, two by eight. You know, make it a little thicker if you want. But we just wanted something basic. Uh, and depending on the wood you get, I advise you stain it, paint it, do something with it, unless it's treated lumber, and it'll be good for the weather. Two by four planter boxes. Each of these put about four to five bags of topsoil inside them on the bottom, and then did a bag of a good potting mix, and then kind of just mixed them all together. So they each got about six bags of dirt. You can get the cheap topsoil at Walmart, Home Depot for about $1.50 and put about five of those in there and then get you a good get you a good bag of potting mix or uh, whatever if you use your own organic compost mixture. If you have your own stuff, cool. Got over here, we got the pumpkin started out by seed. We got some more room back there. I don't know what we're going to put there yet, but yeah, we got the strawberry. We got one uh actually two good mother plants that uh dang i just stepped in dog poop uh yeah we got two good mother plants out in the front and i was able to cut about 15 of the take 15 out of those with good roots and they've been uh i took them out probably two three weeks ago they've been growing they're good a lot of them in the greenhouse they, they got flowers and they will be blooming extra early because i know when we bought them from uh we, when we bought the strawberry plants last year they uh they weren't blooming yet and my blooms are ready already we'll be selling those here soon 
Uh, got the cages for the, uh, the, got the green beans, got some peas, the radishes, got some spinach down here, got the cherry tomatoes. This guy thankfully came back a little bit. I put another one in there just because this guy kind of died off. And this little cucumber died off, so we had to pop a new healthy guy in there. But yeah, like I said, everything except for that strawberry and this primrose, we started by seed. And you make, get your box of screws, drill, get your wood cut at Home Depot, pre cut, bring it back to the house, put it together, good to go. Planning wise, kind of just you know you want to space out the plants a little bit I seen a video uh, on YouTube uh, this channel I follow he kind of would divide this into eight squares and then you got you know a uh, square foot eight square foot so you got one foot one foot one foot one foot so forth and we're trying to kind of trying to go by that method um, you know we could still plant probably three more in this but uh you know we got the zucchini and the squash right there they're gonna come over they're gonna they're gonna go crazy we got some rainbow carrots right there got the broccoli and some brussels sprouts over here we got some sweet pepper got some sweet pepper this teeny little green pepper we only had one seed from the year prior and I ain't been able to find green pepper seeds and so this was the only seed we had and the only plant we have growing green pepper wise um, we got some jalapenos and we got the banana pepper we got a lot of banana peppers